Hello students, welcome back to the English class. I hope you all have done your homework. Today, we are going to start the first chapter of Honeycomb, Three Questions. The Three Questions is a short story by Russian author Leo Tolstoy. Let me give you a short introduction of the author Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy was born at Yasnaya Polyana on August 28, 1828 in Russia. He was educated at home by German and French tutor. He is regarded as one of the greatest authors of all time. Some of his famous works are War and Peace, Anna Karenina, etc. He received multiple nominations for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Let me introduce with the theme of the story Three Questions. In the story Three Questions, the author explores the theme of wisdom, acceptance, kindness and forgiveness. The story is about a king who wants to know the answer of three questions so as to get enlightenment as well as to help others with his wisdom. So let us begin with the story. The thought came to a certain king that he would never fail if he knew three things. In the story, there was a king who wanted to attain the success and he thought that if he knew answers to three questions, then he would never fail in his life. And what are those three things which he wanted to know? Let us see. First one, what is the right time to begin something? Second, which people should he listen to? And the third, what is the most important thing for him to do? So according to the king, if he knew these three questions answer, then he would be never failing in his life. The king therefore sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions. So as you can see the picture given over here, he sent his soldiers in, in his country and announced that whoever would be able to answer these three questions, he would be rewarded. And he promised a very large sum of money for the person who is going to answer these three questions. Many wise men came to the king, but they all answered his questions differently. So as the people, they saw this announcement from the king, many wise men from different parts of the country, they all came to the king, but all of them were giving him different answers. In reply to the first question, some said that king must prepare a timetable and then follow it strictly. Some of the wise men told the king for the first question that is, what is the right time to begin something? They told him that the king must follow a timetable and according to the timetable, if he follows the thing at strictly at the particular time, then he will be fulfilling whatever he want to achieve. So, only this way, they said, could he do everything at its proper time. So according to them, if he follows the timetable properly, then whatever he wants to achieve in his life, he would be able to do that in its proper time. Others said that it was impossible to decide in advance the right time for doing something. But some of the wise men, they were not agreeing with this and they said that, it is impossible to decide in advance that what we will be doing. So as we know that our, in our life, nothing is constant. 
every day something new is there so some of the wise men they just told that it is impossible to decide in advice advance that what we should be doing the king should notice all that was going on avoid foolish pleasures and always do whatever seemed necessary at that time so according to these wise men the these wise men they just told that the king should go on and according to the time being whatever he is indulging in foolish pleasures and all wasting time in different pleasures in he is indulging he should avoid all those things and whatever time it has been there he should utilize that time to do necessary or what whatever important task he want to accomplish in that particular time yet others said that the king needed a council of wise men who would help him act at the proper time so some people suggested that these wise men who just gave him different suggestions it is not a proper thing the king should form a council of people or council members so that a group of people will give him advice so he can decide that which is the proper time to act this was because one man would find it impossible to decide correctly without help from others the right time for every action so according to these people it was impossible for any one man to give a correct decision so if a group of people will be there they will be having different ideas and because of that different ideas the king will be able to do his action at a right time but then others said that there were some things which could be urgent these things could not wait for the decision of the council but some people they argued that it will not be proper if whatever the king will be waiting for the ideas of the council member sometimes something occurs suddenly that should be urgently the king has to make the decision on that particular problem so he will not be able to take the advice of council member at that particular time or he will not be able to wait for the council members to take the decision so in order to decide the right time for doing something it is necessary to look into the future so according to these group of people according to them it was like to know the correct things happening at correct time one person should know regarding the future and only magicians could do that the king therefore would have to go to magicians and according to these group of people they told that only magicians can know about the future so the king should take the help of the magicians in their answers to the second question some said that the people most necessary to the king were his counselors so according to the king the second question was which people he should listen to so some of them they just told him the answer that he should listen to his council members others said the priest but according to some of them it was the priest whom he should listen to a few others chose the doctors and yet others said that his soldiers were the most necessary but according to some of them it was the doctor he should actually listen to and some thought it was the soldiers because soldiers are the people who used to guard his country so some people believe that soldiers were the most important people to the king so he should listen to his soldiers to the third question some said science other chose fighting and yet others religious worship and about his third question what is the most important thing for him to do 
some suggested him that he should follow science as science you know it will give us many new inventions so some gave him the suggestion that he should give more uh, importance to science but other chose fighting but other gave suggestion that he should concentrate more on fighting and winning other uh, countries so that he can expand his kingdom and yet others religious worship but according to some of them they just gave the importance to the religious worship as the answers to his questions were so different the king was not satisfied and gave no reward so as three different questions and many different types of answers he got from different people so this king he was not at all happy and satisfied from these answers so he is not giving anyone the reward and instead what is deciding he decides to seek advice of a certain hermit who was widely known for his wisdom so instead he is deciding to seek the advice of a hermit here hermit means a person who lives alone and leads a very simple life so he had he has heard from many people that this hermit he is very much known for his wisdom so he decides to go and meet this hermit and he wants to get the answers of his three questions from this wise hermit the hermit lived in a wood which he never left so this hermit he used to live in a small forest and he never used to leave this place he saw no one but simple people and so the king put on ordinary clothes so he never used to like to meet with rich people or who like to boast about their richness so he never liked those type of people so he used to meet only the simple people for this reason what the king is doing he is putting on the ordinary clothes and meeting this hermit before he reached the hermit's hut the king left his horse with his bodyguard and went on alone so as this hermit he never liked to meet the people who are very rich so before reaching there the king is leaving his horse to the bodyguard and then he decides to walk there to the hermit's place on his own without taking his horse or the bodyguard with him as the king came near the hermit's hut he saw the hermit digging the ground in front of his hut so as the king he came by walking towards the hermit's hut he saw the king he was digging the ground in front of his hut you can see this from the image he greeted the king and continued digging so as the hermit saw the man coming near to him he just stood up he greeted the king and then he continued his work which he was digging the hermit was old and weak and as he worked he breathed heavily so this hermit he was a very old man as well as he was weak so as you know that as digging it is a laborious work because of that as he was very weak he was breathing very heavily the king went up to the hermit and said i have come to you wise hermit to ask you to answer three questions then the uh, this king is going near this hermit and then he is telling the hermit that i have come to you to seek your advice i want to know the answers of three questions and these three questions are how can i learn to do the right thing at the right time who are the people i need most and what affairs are the most important so here the meaning of affair it is matter or business or any thing so he is asking the hermit about these three questions that i came 
to you for knowing these three answers of the question please help me and give me these answers the hermit listened to the king but did not speak he went on digging so as the king asked these three questions to the hermit he just listened to the king but he didn't give any answer in response to this question he just went on doing the work which he was doing that is digging you are tired said the king let me take the spade and work in your place so when he didn't get any answer from the hermit at that time the king is telling to the hermit that as you are tired let me dig for you so just please give me that spade so i will work in your place i will help you to dig thanks said the hermit giving the king his spade then he sat down on the ground as the king asked the spade from the hermit to help him dig the ground the hermit thanked him and he just gave the spade to the king and after giving the spade to the king he just sat on the ground to rest when the king had dug two beds he stopped and repeated his questions so as taking the spade from the hermit the king started digging and he dug two beds here the meaning of bed it is small patches or holes which are made to plant the trees so after digging two beds the king stopped digging and he just repeated the three questions to the hermit again the hermit gave no answer but stood up stretching out his hand for the spade and said now you rest and let me work so as the king repeated his questions the hermit he didn't answer him as if he had not heard anything from the king he just stood up from there and he just stretched his hands towards the king and asked him to give the spade back and told him that as you are digging from some time you now you rest and let me continue the work but the king did not give him the spade and continued to dig so the king what he did he didn't give the spade back to the hermit but he just continued digging the ground one hour passed then another the sun went down behind the trees and at last the king stuck the spade into the ground and said i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions if you can give me no answer tell me so and i will return home so as the hermit asked the spade back to continue his work the king told him that no need he will continue digging the ground and as hour after hour passed and now the sun was setting behind the trees now the king lost his patience and he what he did he just stuck the spade which he was using to dig the ground on the ground and he just asked the hermit i came to you wise man for an answer to my question so he is asking the hermit that i came to you to seek advice and get the answers to my questions and if you are not willing to give me the answer you just tell me i'll go back why you are wasting my time so from morning i'm here and continuously i am asking you the question but you are not responding or giving me any answer so if you don't want to give me the answer you just tell me i will go back to my home here comes someone running said the hermit so as soon as the king finishes uh, telling to hermit about returning back to home 
the hermit he just looks to the other side and he tells the king that here someone is coming and the king and the hermit both are looking towards that person who is coming home assignment write down the following questions and answers in your notebook number 1 who is the author of the story answer the author of the story is leo tolstoy number 2 what were the three questions answer the three questions were what is the right time to begin something which people he should listen to what is the most important thing for him to do third one why did the king want to know answers to three question answer the king wanted to know answers to three questions because of a thought that came to his mind that he would never fail if he knew the answers to the questions number 4 why did the wise men come to the king answer the wise men came to the king to give answers to the king's three questions and get reward from him where did the hermit live the hermit lived in a small forest next make sentences with the help of these words given below first advice second promise third wisdom fourth affair and fifth one stretch here we come to the end of part 1 of our lesson three questions thank you for watching this video